All right, so in this one, we're going to be doing SIRDs again, but this time we're simplifying algebraic SIRDs. So SIRDs with letters in them is essentially it. Let's jump straight to example so you can see how this all works. The square root of a squared. Okay, let's think about this. The square root is a number that when multiplied by itself gives this. So a number that when multiplied by itself gives a squared. A. A times A makes A squared. So we've taken A squared and we've moved it outside of there. All right, straightforward, easy example one. Let's look at two. The square root of A to the four. All right. Now this takes a little more thinking, but A to the four, two numbers when multiplied by themselves gives A to the four. A to the two times a to the 2. That's going to give a to the 4. You'll know that from your index laws. So the answer is a to the 2. The pattern is pretty simple here and I can do a little formula here for you. The square root of a to the n, the square root of a to the n, is equal to a to the n divided by 2. So a very very quick example the square root of x to the 50 is equal to x to the 25. All right, so here's our basic rule here. If you've got a letter here raised to a power, do this. Now this is only going to work if n is even. If, e, if n is even. If n is odd, we're just going to have to do a tiny bit more work. The square root of x to the 7. Now, if I do this formula here, I'll end up with an answer of x to the 3.5, or x to the 7 on 2, which makes my life a little bit difficult. Instead, I can rewrite it as x to the 6 times x. x to the 6 times x is going to be x to the 7. Now, if I've rewritten it like that, I can then deal with this bit, which now is even, and I can move that outside of here. And x to the 6 outside of there is going to be x to the 3, and left in the brackets in the um, root is x. Okay, so if you get an odd number, you've got to split them, you've got to get rid of one, an extra one, and then you move that one over here, and you halve that power. All right, stop, stop, think, take notes, then move on. So, of course, all of this can be combined with, with numbers as well. So, square root 12, x to the 11. Now, we need to combine all of the information that we've had in the past. Look at 12 first and say to yourself, can that be split up? Yes, 12 can be split up into 4 times 3. Can x be split up? Yes, x can be split up times x to the 10 times x. Now, which of these am I taking out? I'll take the 4 out. Just write it in this pen here. The 4 comes out and becomes a 2. And the x to the 10 comes out. And when the x to the 10 comes out, it becomes x to the 5. What's left over? 3 will be left over and x will be left over. The goal here is to get as much outside of the root as we can. 12x to the, the square root of 12x to the 11 is the same as 2x to the 5 times the square root of 3x. One more. So we're looking at this one, 5y squared root 98y to the 7 x to the 5. You've just got to move through it systematically. So 5y squared's out the front. And inside of the root, what can I do with everything? 98, can I find a square root in that? Yes, I think I can. 49 times 2, that's going to make 98. y to the 7, I can split up into y to the 6 times y. And x to the 5, I'll just move this out of the way. x to the 5, I can split up into x to the 4 times x. Alright, making a bit of a mess here. Now, 
the 49 I'm going to take and I'm going to move it out and that's going to become a 7. So what I'm going to end up with on the outside is 5y squared times 7. Now when I move the 49 out, the 2 is going to be left over. I'm going to move the y to the 6 out and that's going to become y to the 3. I need to make some more space there. Move y to the 6 out and that's going to become y to the 3. And move, well that leaves y behind. And then x to the 4 is going to come out and that's going to become x to the 2 when it comes out. And it's going to leave x behind. So finally, finishing that up, let's just finish it on this side here. 5y squared times 7 times y cubed times x squared. So the 5s and the 7s go together to make 5 times 7, which is 35. y squared times y to the 3 makes y to the 5. And x squared there, 2y, x. All right, there's SIRDs and simplifying algebraic SIRDs. Practice, get it wrong, check it, ask me, talk to your friends, practice, 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 practice.